Adena comes today to express her faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior through the waters of baptism. And so I would remind you as you, as you witness her baptism of, of a couple things regarding baptism. Number one is that uh, Dana is already saved. She's already put her faith and trust in Christ. He has given to her new life. Her step today is a step of obedience. The importance uh, of Dana's baptism is that it is a testimony to you. You see, uh, you too are called to follow Christ. You may feel that you're far from him today, but his call is to you. He invites you to himself and, and to salvation in him. And so to you, I would say, here, look, see, here is water. What is hindering you from being baptized? Let Christ speak to your heart today. Let his spirit call you to himself. This is Dana Pertula's testimony. While I had known Jesus in my life, I didn't really know him in my heart. Before he worked his way into my heart, my life was broken and lost. I was raised in a dysfunctional home, stumbled through many challenges, and made some bad choices, got involved with wrong people, and ended a marriage and divorce and separated from my family members and just tried to live life my own way. Although I became a member and attended church regularly for a time, I lost my way and abused drugs, lived a promiscuous life, and continued searching for things to mask the brokenness and made choices that didn't align with God's plan. There were a few times I could have been killed in serious car accidents while under the influence, but came away with only bruises. And looking back, I realized that God had been with me the whole time. I began to try to pray, but struggled making a connection I needed to really invite him into my heart. And then in September of 2020, something came over me, and I was compelled to read the Bible more, pray, and listen to Christian worship music. But I still left the door open for answers from other places like podcasts, videos, and other substances. Then recently, after a period of transformation and trouble in my home, God led me to come to Merriman Road on January 14th, where I was able to talk with Pastor Dave and ask for help and pray. It was that day that I called upon Jesus to forgive me of my sins and declared my trust in him as my Lord and Savior who died and rose for me. I have never felt such unconditional love by anyone in my life. I am learning what it means to be his follower, and I want to commit my life to help in his mission. I see many broken people around me who need his care, his love, his grace and his word so souls can be restored and saved. Today I'm being baptized because I want you to know that Jesus has taken my heart and has transformed me into a new person. I want to do everything I can to commit to his mission and fight for the lives that need to be restored to their faith, to know the love that Jesus has for them and learn to follow his word. I am forever grateful that Jesus Christ has a solid place in my heart and with knowing that all things are possible. Because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you in obedience to Christ's command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, buried with him in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. Church, let me ask you to join me in prayer for Dana. Lord, we come and we gather as, as your children, as your family, and we lift up our sister in prayer today as she takes this step of faith to declare her trust in you. Lord, I pray that you'd encourage your heart, that you'd help her to, to know your nearness, to claim the promise of your word, which promises salvation to all who call upon your name. And Lord, I pray that as a family, we would be an encouragement to her as she walks with you. Lord, help us to show her the way in our own lives and in our testimony. Lord, we ask your blessing on her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.